Hey guys, what's up? New Ultimate Legends came out. Calvin Johnson and Terrell Suggs. I don't want Terrell Suggs. If I had to pick which one I pull, I will pick Calvin. I'm, uh, oh, do I already have him? But, uh, anyway, I'm just not a fan of Terrell Suggs. Yeah, it's a badass card, no doubt about it. I just like to have players that aren't trash talkers in bums. Do I have that? No, I don't. There we go. Add more to the sets. Hopefully, uh, I got every single bundle that exists for that was available. So I got 45 total packs. So let's hope uh, one of these packs can somehow bring me an ultimate Calvin. Walter Payton, that's a nice one. I already have it. No, I'll put it in the exchange. Why not? Especially with these packs, you get a lot of extra collectibles. It might be useful. I can get closer to a random legend, which would be nice. Oh, please. Oh, man, made no sound. I was getting excited. I thought it was going to be an Ultimate Legend or something. Oh. Look at that. I think that's my best right tackle now. Yeah, it is. There it is. Oh, of course, he's on the Cowboys. Of course. That old line stacked. Oh, I have Charles Woodson. That's nice. Too bad, uh... If I didn't have Charles Woodson, I would have been excited for that, but I already got him. Since you guys haven't seen my lineup, I uh, just added Final Edition Dion Lewis to my running back core, and I got Playoff 98 overall Vince Wolfwalk to the team. So I got two, uh, well, I got one literally big edition, and I got one small edition literally as well. Zach Thomas, another nice, uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Not, not as nice as I thought it was. I thought that was nice. I thought it would been cool to actually get him. As a kid growing up, he was one of, my, one of the few non-favorite Patriot players I had. I mean, I had that uh, I knew. Oh, I want to get a campus legend, but I haven't gotten any. Uh, I only have one elite, and he's on my lineup, Manti Teo. Legend badges, man. They fool you. It's an elite. It fools you every time. I, I know it's a guaranteed one, but I always hope it's, uh, I don't get the badge yet. Yeah, I always hope it's, uh, an actual card, like actual elite player. Uh, there's the badge, of course. Let's go backwards, see what happens. Damn it. Well, legend badges aren't bad, trust me, I'm not complaining about those. Ah, oh, McNabb, huh? Alright, goes in there. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's not bad. Gets me closer to getting that damn campus legend. I don't know how many. I know Tebow because I've heard everything all about. Like, everywhere I look for campus uh, players, I keep hearing shit about Tebow. So all I know is that Tebow is one. That's the only one I know of. I really don't know what the other ones are. So I have to go in, uh, go in depth and look. Huh. Big Papa Vince. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's a badge. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh, wow. Call me off guard. <coughs> these are probably... I was talking to my boy Dan the Man the other day. We think these are probably the best packs that come out. I think that's the one I just pulled earlier. Yeah, it was. Well, these are probably the best packs because you get a bunch of gold players, at least. It's not like it's wor like when you open a pro pack, there's a low chance of getting a gold. It's every card, player-wise, is a gold, which is nice. My boy, Jamie Collins. I'm trying to get an upgraded version of him. I want to get that Team of the Year Jamie Collins on the squad, you know? I would sell those to make coins. Not gonna lie, it's just I I like to play on the the wild side. 
Do I have this? Oh man. That's one that I think I just need a few more collectibles. I can get Marshall Falk. At the same time, I don't remember if I did his game or not. It's one of those things where you're like, I hope I did the game. That would have been me for Brian Finner in this year. I didn't do his game. And I just need that once the one card I need for Finner in his game. And I completely forgot. So I could have Brian Finner on my team as a, another receiver to work with. But, uh, really again? They gave me the week two Don McNabb every fucking time. Like, damn. Uh, is this the one that I said I had? No, it's not. Alright, cool. Like, after I open these packs, I might just go on a wear and tear on every Legend game that's out there. Just so if I get the collectibles, I can at least fucking get the card and not screw myself over. Oh, here we go. There's a nice card I can add to the uh, Campus Legend squad. Those cards aren't bad. I, if I just started Madden, I would definitely start them. But, you know, it, at this point in the game, it's uh, a card I'd rather not have. Oh, I know for a fact I have that. I know I finished Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is still one of my favorite players on my team. I love Vince Wolfork. Now I added him. I did. I know it's just solo challenges. Wow, that was uh, that was impressive right there. That was pretty impressive. Too bad it wasn't all rookie Marcus Mariota. I'd love to give him a shot, but you know it's cool. Can't get everything. But let's keep it going. I like the I like pulling elite players. Oh, Sean Taylor, come on. Oh, I have him, too. I know that. I remember making, not making fun of him, but I, I knew he had to be Hawaiian because of that name. He just has to. Flynn, comment down below if that guy's Hawaiian. I bet he is. He has to. That name, no way he's not. That sounds like a Hawaiian. No way he's from, like, New York. If he is, I'll be amazed. Do I have like all of Donald McNabb's cards or something? I have no, I literally have no idea what's going on. I keep pulling legend uh, collectibles and I can't put them in any sets. Oh uh, no, that's a badge. Up, oh, <laughs> of course I pull them. I just bought. Honestly, he doesn't go for much. He, I, I got him for like 10k. He's not expensive, so it's not too bad. Could save 10k, but at the same time, I'm happy I have him anyways. Oh wow. Didn't know that was a card yet. I don't stay up to date with, like, uh, those type of cards. I keep up to date with damn, uh, like, the Ultimate Legends. I don't keep up to date with the free agent cards, or rookie, all rookie cards, final editions. I don't keep up with those. Oh, I lied. I know who to put in the sets to get. Oh, there he is. All right, sweet. I can give Marcus Mariota a run. A run. I'm probably going to. I'll promote him to starter. Sorry, Tommy. You gotta sit the bench for once. There we go. It's a nice start. I do like Mariota, and that's why I was happy that he had an all rookie card. I I'm waiting to give him a shot. And he goes for a lot. I'll take him for a, a spin, see if I like him. He might be my starting QB for a while, unless uh, I somehow get 96 Brady sometime soon. Because 96 Brady is the next card I want for a quarterback if I have to pick a permanent quarterback for the rest of the man 16 but I can roll with a <clears throat> I can roll with 94 Mariota if I had to that's not bad he's a nice uh, nice speedy little quarterback that's got a nice arm to him especially with the, the receivers I got and the running backs I got I can do some nice uh, nice formations with them Maybe I can get... I can probably get lucky, too. I can possibly, uh... I can be able to maybe get the read option going with them, too. Because now I got Deion Lewis and uh, Jamal Charles as my two speed backs. That's a nice uh, setup. But now here are the toppers for uh, Legend Toppers. Alright, not bad. I won't complain about badges, ever. Especially Legend badges. They're not, like, super expensive, but I won't complain if I pull Legend badges. Then a nice, especially three of them makes a uh, ultimate legend badge. So e even more of a better reason for me not to complain about getting them, because now I don't have to waste like forty thousand, sixty thousand just to get them. Oh, there it is. All right, got a couple more. 
I think that's the yeah, it's the last one for Ultimate Legend Toppers. <coughs> Excuse me. Now Ultimate Legend uh, Ultimate <coughs> Legends Player Topper, which is a legend as a topper. Let's see if I can get lucky with a pull. Let's see what do I get? Oh, <laughs> I have them. Oh, that's not bad though. That's nice. Uh, Rod Woodson, nice, nice, not bad. And Derek Brooks, nice. Three really great legend players, and that crashed my game. Why? Why? Why is every time I pull good stuff my Madden crashes? I think that's the end before I guarantee you guys it's the end uh i'm just gonna restart the game but i hope it's not you know it'd be a bummer if uh if i pulled something like if i got something else hold on guys snapchatting <laughs> now I don't know why I had to tell you guys I was doing that. I could have just done it. But any those three legend pulls are nice. That Charles Woodson's crate, if I didn't have him, I would have been so pumped. I I'm still kind of pumped I pulled him. That Rod Woodson, too bad I got Eric Weddle and Sean Taylor because he definitely would have made the cut. I think Derek Brooks is my new starting outside linebacker now, which is nice. At least he got a new starter out of it. But um, it's all good stuff. You know, you can't really lose. So, uh, what are you talking about? I am signed in. That, that's the thing that sucks too sometimes when Madden crashes. It does that. It pops up saying that, oh, you got signed in. It's like, no shit. I am signed in. I don't know if I finished a set or not while uh, the video is going. <clears throat> no, that's it. All right. That's not bad. That was pretty damn good. Adding that Mariota does give me a lot more excitement to play now. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Comment down below if you get any lucky polls or my Twitter. It's linked in my on my channel, my Facebook page, anything. Send them to me. I'd like to see what you guys pull in these packs as your toppers. Hope you all enjoy. See you on the next one.